All right, here's the airbrushing video. Uh, we're gonna be using a master airbrush. This is a cheap uh, starter kit airbrush. It's perfect. I love it for uh, running polyurethane uh, varnishes through um, for models. Um, this is perfect for base coating, perfect for varnishing. Uh, I have a badger, or not a badger, I'm sorry, an awada that I use for uh, some of the detail work. Um, got our water. Uh, this is our cleaning pot here so that I don't spray airbrush stuff into the air when we get ready to clean this thing. Um, and then a couple of other things that I'll be showing you right now. Here's a bottle of thinner. Uh, this is the Medea, um, Medea airbrush thinner. Um, I'm sorry, this is Vallejo airbrush thinner. Uh, and then this is Medea airbrush cleaner diluted 50-50 with uh, distilled water running through the airbrush. And then lastly, water. Um, so really what I'm going to do real quick is just put a couple drops of thinner in the bottom of the airbrush so it fills up that little well there. Put our matte varnish in here. Here's just a regular paintbrush. Save your old brushes. This is not going to be enough, but it should be good for the first coat. And I'm actually going to put this here. So at this point, commentary is going to become very uninteresting. I'm about to put a mask on, uh, so it will be hard to hear. And then the airbrush compressor is about to come on as well. So what I'm going to be doing is basically adjusting my pressure. So I take the tension off of... And then off camera, uh, so this basically takes the pressure off of the system on the compressor and then I can adjust the knob on the compressor. Uh, right now I'm going to be spraying right at 30 PSI, which means I'm going to drop to about 28 PSI as this is on. And then uh, here, I'm going to be going, I'm sorry, moving this around the camera mount here. And then we're going to start top down. I just realized this video is not going to be very fun every time the compressor kicks on. Because the compressor is mounted on the table. Uh, not really a concern for me before. That's it, first coat done. So uh, right now it's a bit shiny because uh, it will um, basically have uh, be wet. I can take this off right now. So here we're just watching airbrush cleaner go through now we're going to be running a little bit of water through to get the cleaner out I've also increased the pressure on the airbrush to 40 PSI. That's 40 PSI. And then that eyedropper we showed you earlier. Here's pure mineral spirits going in. A 
this stuff will mess you up. Which is why it's very important in times like this to have a uh, paint pot. This collects the fumes and um, make sure that they don't go everywhere. I'm basically doing a once over with the mineral spirits, cleaning off the sidewalls, make sure there's no residual uh, varnish in there. Uh, I could use a paintbrush, but I like my paintbrushes better than that. As you can, you can actually probably see the vapor coming in that relief valve. All right, wash that out with water. Is how I run through the airbrush. I'm shutting this off now. So the compressor is off. That's me backing the hose off of the actual airbrush. And we're going to be looking at the airbrush here real quick. So that's the run through. There's a little bit of mineral spirits left in there. That is a okay. I'm just going to wipe out the cup from the mineral spirits and any mineral spirits varnish that is breaking down, making sure that's all spiffy and clean, which it looks great in there. Last thing I'm going to be doing is checking the tip of the airbrush right in here. As you can see, my hands are already starting to crack a little. It's got a little bit of varnish on there. Um, then there's a little bit of residue right on this edge. So what I'm going to be doing is taking the outer cap off. It's very important now this, uh, that is the airbrush tip that is exposed. Probably can't see it very well. You might be able to see it against my hand there. Um, the airbrush tip is now exposed. So it's very important I don't set it down, point down on anything. I'm just going to lay it flat on the table here, and I have a Q-tip. So this Q-tip, I'm just going to put a little bit of airbrush cleaner on, which is why everything is covered in brown paper, and then clean out the tip. And what this will do is prevent residue from building up. This residue uh, will ca cause tip blockages, and I'm just alternating it between the wet end and the dry end and the wet end and the dry end. So there we go. I'll put that back on. I'm not going to do a full disassembly uh, because I did run mineral spirits and everything through here and uh, the airbrush is pretty much clean. Uh, so um, quick version of what I was doing. This uh, just applies air paint. Air paint. Uh, and so you can go through different variations of how much pressure you apply. Um, and I really only done a full disassembly twice on this thing um, and that's a full disassembly and then basically bathing it um, and that's just uh, you know basically ran some bad paint through uh, wasn't really happy with um, the style of cleaning which I just performed and uh, ended up running everything through it uh, and doing a full disassembly for so for that I basically have a, a cream cheese container um, it's a shallow bin Actually, pull it out really quick. Oh, I'm sorry. I spoke wrong. Sour cream. This tofuti, by the way, it's dairy free. Um, and then this is what it floats in. This is my airbrush cleaning pot. So, um, this we're not going to touch. We're just going to leave this guy right where it is. Um, the polyurethane matte varnish is going to take a while to dry. As you can see, it still has got like a wet shine to it. Uh, almost all the way around. It's very important for times like this that I put it in secondary containment. Like um, I use old Chinese food Tupperwares so that as I pick up and handle it, I don't have to grab the mini itself. I can just grab the Tupperware and move it out of the way. So that's it for tonight. We're going to break it down uh, into two more coats of this, which uh, there's no need to record, um, but I'll just be doing two more coats. The first coat. Uh, being the thin one is probably the most important. Um, and then after this, I uh, may or may not end up breaking out the uh, airbrush just to put the polyurethane on. So there you go. That's it.